Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So for today, we have got an eyeshadow palette declutter. So if you like declutters, then please stick around for today's video and make sure you are subscribed before leaving today and let's get into it. So y'all know I have to do declutters every once in a while and it's spring. So this is like my spring clean, if you will. I was only going to get rid of a few. Wasn't even going to film a declutter. And by the time I got through going through my collection, I was like, um, I have quite a few palettes. So I just wanted to share this with you because a lot of you want to see what I'm actually getting rid of, what I actually don't use, things like that. And also I wanted to ask, do you like declutters where you see the person showing you the palette or do you like it when the camera is like face down? and you just see the palettes Please let me know down below because I have done declutters both ways so I just want to hear what y'all like because typically I don't care but I want to hear what everyone wants to see for me going forward so let's just get into it and start off because you're going to be like girl what I'm decluttering all of these fantasy cosmetic palettes the the brand sent me doubles um they sent me like their newer packaging because I was working with them I was so thankful that I was able to work with them on an ad like it's it like my first time so I was so excited so I have to keep the newer packaging but I do have doubles of like wizard fighter and warlock that are not used I'm giving to some friends that have never tried the brand and then some are like the newer or I'm sorry the older packaging that I'm not going to be able to use for like swatches and pictures for the brand so I'm going to give those to some friends that have never tried the brand because look I only need one night I don't need doubles <laughs> no one needs a double so that's why I'm going to move those along I love fantasy cosmetica so I do have like the newer updated packaging if that makes sense and like while we're on the same note this might be loud I'm going to declutter the old strawberry moon and the old flower moon palace I'm in the middle of doing a video where I compare these two so the brand sent me the new strawberry moon so I'm going to get rid of my older one after I film that video and then I bought the new flower moon palette so once I get that palette I'm going to do a comparison video and then declutter the old one because same thing I just said I don't need doubles if you know what I mean um so now let's get into the palettes that are leaving my collection I have a few from alter ego that I know I'm not going to use like the Sahara desert or what are you called is it just Sahara ah! oh everything just fell okay anyways I have a few that I've never used from alter ego that I'm going to pass along probably put in a giveaway do y'all want a giveaway I can do that I haven't done one of those in a long time so all of those which I didn't even say the name this is the Sakura palette and then this is the dream gaze it's just a pastel palette that I'm never gonna use and then Sahara which is mainly matte I don't even want to open it because I don't want to touch it or anything I want them in like pristine condition without my fingerprints all over it but I'm going to let those go I've been sitting like they've been chilling here and I'm like I, I have eyeshadow palettes coming in my ears I do not need it um another one that I'm going to pass along this is from Game Beauty I just don't reach for these greens they're very vibrant so I think that the quality is nice it's just I have other green grungy palettes that I love and this doesn't give me that grunge factor that I need in my life Okay, this one I'm finally ready to part ways with. This is the Butterfly Vibes palette from Give Me Glow. I initially decluttered it, then I got it back out of my collection. That's a current theme that I, that is a current theme that I have done, and I need to just know myself. If I declutter it once, it needs to go. I'm not going to I, like I'm done bringing things back into my collection. I just don't reach for this. I hate the packaging. It was so expensive. Like, so regret buying that. This is the Pastel Dreams palette. I just have other pastel palettes that I have come to love, and then the Juicy Olive palette. I actually need to rearrange this palette because it's kind of mixed right now. So I was doing a different look anyways I don't reach for it so I'm going to let go of that one and this is the Mirage palette from Alter Ego I'm kind of going back and forth on I think I'm going to let this one go because whenever I want a neutrally palette I don't reach for this that often because these tones do not flatter me they are warm warmer for my cool complexion and I just don't like that orangey look so for me this palette's not like a neutral soft glam palette for me this is actually pretty colorful whenever you get it these warm orangey reds on my skin complexion if that makes sense but I do like the liquid shades in here crypt and dust they're beautiful but it's just I don't reach for it enough so I would rather pass it on to somebody that would actually love those tones on their skin complexion another one from game beauty I'm going to let go of this is um electro 
This is a uh, Elemental Blast number five. I just don't reach for monochromatic palettes, but this is so pretty. Like one of the prettiest purple palettes I've ever seen. And like there's a multi-chrome in here. I just don't like I don't reach for multi or uh, monochromatic palettes all that after all that often. So I know someone else would get better use out of that. And then these two are so hard to let go of. These are from Unearthly Cosmetics. Uh, this is the Strawberry Milkshake Palette. Ah, because these two were sent to me in PR. <sighs> which makes me want to hold on to it forever because it's so special but I don't use it and I'm kind of just like talking to myself like just because the brand sent you something and it means a lot to you doesn't mean you have to keep it so because they sent me one other fairy frolic so I'm going to treasure that one and then I'm going to pass this on to some friends that would love these palettes and these color stories and this one is really hard to get rid of because I actually like it but I don't use these tones enough this is the um what are you called dead of night palette I love the packaging I love the vibe the moodiness it's beautiful but I've created several looks with this and all of them they just there's something about it that these tones don't look good on me so why keep a palette just because it's like you know what I mean I have attachment to it I need to let it go Okay, now we have some from ColourPop. Every time I declutter these, someone gives it back to me, and I'm like, you know what? Now I'm going to say, like, no take backs. If you take it, it's yours. <laughs> I do not want these back. This is a witching hour. I just did not like this color story, and the quality is just, like, meh. And then this is the All Hallows Eve palette. They did, obviously, in collaboration with Hocus Pocus. I only like the first one, like, the first collab. I don't need this, so um officially it's leaving my collection it's never coming back i don't need it i'm a hoarder and i'm done collecting all the hocus pocus palettes and then this one like i keep giving this away and it keeps coming back to my collection this is a star wars mandalorian palette i have come to just not enjoy color pop formula all that often so i don't need it i don't need it um let's see this is the chucky palette i don't I don't like these tones on me. I think it's a beautiful palette and I love it on others. Just on me, it's really intimidating. And I don't like have any attachment to this palette, this theming. So I shouldn't have bought it to begin with. This one right here, I have decluttered it and brought it back into my collection so many times. But I have so many green palettes. I know y'all are going to be like, don't do it. But the Yucca palette from Natasha Denona, I don't, I don't need another green. Because a lot of these tones look very similar on the eyes. It's beautiful. But I'm not living for the shimmer. So it, it needs to leave my collection and never enter it again. Okay, this one, this is actually from a Micah Beauty Shop. I'm going to see if one of my friends wants this palette. I just don't reach for these tones all that often, and I think she would love it way more than me. So I'm just going to let this go, even though the shimmers blow my mind. Like, they are so shifty and beautiful. I just don't reach for it, and I don't want it to go to waste because I have so many palettes. It's a beautiful color story. I love the quality. I just... I'm not reaching for it, so I know someone who would definitely love that palette. And then the next, uh, I think, I don't know if I'm going to declutter this one. I'm, like, going back and forth. Huh. Last one, I'm going to declutter. I was, like, going back and forth on this one. This is from Artitude Cosmetics. This is the Abscission Palette. I love the packaging. I love the color story, the quality. Everything about this is so beautiful. I just don't re reach for this one all that often. I know it's not fall, and I'm not going to. But whenever I reach for a fall palette, I immediately jump to Harvest Moon. And I didn't have Harvest Moon last fall. And I know I'm going to reach for that one over this one. I know that seems silly, but it's just something about it. I will always reach for Harvest Moon over this one. So that's why I'm going to pass that one along. And I think those are all the eyeshadow palettes that I'm decluttering. That is a total of, I believe, 26 palettes that I'm going to let go of. I was feeling very overwhelmed. There were palettes everywhere. And if I don't reach for them, I don't use them they have to go. So I do hope you enjoyed this declutter. Do you do some clean outs in your collection? I also have a declutter coming up of like my entire collection. I was kind of only going to get a few things out and it ended up being like a huge box of makeup I'm not even going to use anymore. So you'll probably see that one after this video or maybe you've already seen it. Who knows? But that's going to do it for today's video. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye guys. Oh, 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 o